The Los Angeles streets buzzed with life as I navigated through the labyrinth of skyscrapers and bustling crowds. My mind, however, was elsewhere, consumed by the weight of impending anniversary and the relentless demands of my job. Despite the chaos around me, a sense of unease gnawed at the edges of my consciousness. It was amidst this turmoil that I stumbled upon the scene that would unravel the fabric of my world. As I turned a corner, my gaze fell upon Charlotte, my wife of nearly three decades, emerging from a prestigious hotel, her arm linked with that of William, our longtime friend. My heart plummeted, a rush of emotions flooding my senses as suspicion coiled around me like a viper. Charlotte, I called out, my voice barely above a whisper, lost amidst the cacophony of the city streets. She froze, her eyes widening in surprise as she turned to face me, the color draining from her cheeks. Thomas, what are you doing here? She stammered, her words laced with a hint of apprehension. What are you doing here? I countered, my voice tinged with a mixture of disbelief and betrayal. And with William of all people, Charlotte's gaze faltered, her silence speaking volumes as the weight of her guilt hung heavy in the air. Thomas, it's not what you think, she began, her words trailing off as she struggled to find an explanation. Not what I think. I echoed, my voice rising with a tinge of anger. Then please enlighten me. What exactly is it that I'm supposed to think, Charlotte? The tension between us crackled like electricity, the air thick with unspoken words and unanswered questions. As Charlotte faltered beneath my gaze, I knew that the truth lay just beyond my reach, waiting to be unveiled in the depths of her silence. In the days following the disturbing encounter with Charlotte and William, a suffocating sense of unease settled over me like a heavy blanket. Every interaction with Charlotte felt strained, the air thick with unspoken tension as we danced around the truth that loomed between us like a specter. As I delved deeper into the labyrinth of deception that Charlotte had woven, I found myself ensnared in a web of lies, each thread unraveling the carefully constructed facade of our marriage. Her explanations grew increasingly convoluted, her excuses ringing hollow against the backdrop of betrayal. Charlotte, we need to talk. I insisted one evening, the weight of the truth bearing down on me like a leaden weight. I can't keep pretending that everything is fine when clearly it's not. Charlotte's gaze faltered, her eyes avoiding mine as she busied herself with mundane tasks, a silent barrier between us. Thomas, please, she pleaded, her voice tinged with desperation. Can't we just let things be for now? I promise, we'll talk about it later. But later never seemed to come, and with each passing day, the distance between us grew, a gaping chasm that threatened to swallow us whole. In the silence of our shared space, the truth hung heavy like a tangible presence, casting a pall over our once idyllic life. Charlotte, I can't keep living like this, I confessed one evening, my voice heavy with resignation. We can't keep pretending that everything is okay when clearly it's not. I need to know the truth, no matter how painful it may be. Charlotte's facade crumbled, her defenses slipping away to reveal the raw vulnerability beneath. Thomas, I'm scared, she admitted, her voice trembling with emotion. Scared of what the truth might do to us, to our marriage. But I promise, I'll tell you everything. Just please, give me time. But time seemed like a luxury we could no longer afford as the walls of our marriage threatened to crumble beneath the weight of our shared secrets. In the shadow of our fractured trust, I knew that the road ahead would be fraught with uncertainty, but I was determined to uncover the truth, no matter the cost. As the days stretched into weeks, my suspicions only deepened, casting a dark shadow over our once happy home. Charlotte's evasive behavior and subtle lies became increasingly difficult to ignore, each falsehood serving as a dagger to my already wounded heart. It was as if she were tiptoeing through a minefield of deceit, careful to avoid any semblance of truth. Unable to bear the weight of uncertainty any longer, I made a fateful decision to uncover the truth, no matter the cost. With a heavy heart and trembling hands, I installed surveillance equipment to monitor Charles' every move, desperate for answers to the questions that haunted me day and night. The truth, when it finally emerged, was a bitter pill to swallow. The footage revealed Charlotte and William in intimate moments, their betrayal etched into the very fabric of our marriage. Anguish consumed me as I grappled with the devastating reality of her infidelity, 
each revelation driving a wedge deeper between us. Charlotte, how could you? I demanded, my voice laced with pain and disbelief as I confronted her with the damning evidence. After everything we'd been through, how could you betray me like this? Charlotte's eyes widened in shock, her facade crumbling beneath the weight of my accusation. Thomas, I can explain, she stammered, her words faltering as she struggled to find an excuse for her betrayal. But there were no excuses, no explanations that could justify the betrayal that had shattered our marriage beyond repair. In the silence that followed, the truth hung heavy between us like a specter, casting a pall over our once idyllic life. I trusted you, Charlotte. I whispered, my voice barely above a whisper as I turned away, unable to bear the sight of the woman who had torn my world apart. And you betrayed that trust in the worst possible way. As the echoes of my words faded into the darkness, I knew that there was no turning back from the abyss into which our marriage had plunged. In the wake of betrayal and heartache, I was left to pick up the pieces of my shattered life, haunted by the specter of what could have been. The tension between us crackled like electricity as I stood face to face with Charla and William, the weight of betrayal heavy in the air. It was the night of our anniversary party, a celebration that had turned into a battlefield of emotions as accusations flew and hearts were laid bare. Charla, how could you do this to me? I demanded, my voice trembling with a mixture of anger and hurt as I confronted her with the damning evidence of her infidelity. After everything we've shared, how could you betray me like this? Charlotte's gaze faltered, her eyes filled with guilt as she struggled to find the words to justify her actions. Thomas, I'm sorry, she whispered, her voice barely above a whisper as she reached out to me, a desperate plea for forgiveness in her eyes. But forgiveness was a distant dream, lost amidst the wreckage of our shattered trust. Sorry isn't enough, Charlotte, I countered, my voice tinged with bitterness as I turned away, unable to bear the sight of the woman who had torn my world apart. As the echoes of our confrontation faded into the darkness, I turned my attention to William, the man who had betrayed not only our friendship, but also the sanctity of our marriage. And you, William, I began, my voice heavy with disdain as I fixed him with a withering glare. How could you betray me like this? How could you betray us both? William's face paled beneath my scrutiny, his eyes avoiding mine as he struggled to find an excuse for his actions. Thomas, I, he began, but his words were cut short by a scathing retort from Charla. Don't even try to justify it, William, she spat, her voice dripping with venom as she turned on him with a ferocity that took me aback. You knew what you were doing and you did it anyway. You're just as much to blame for this mess as I am. In the midst of our confrontation, emotions ran high as accusations flew and tempers flared. But beneath the surface, there lingered a sense of resignation, a silent acknowledgement of the irreparable damage that had been done. As the dust settled and the echoes of our words faded into the night, I knew that there was no going back from the abyss into which our marriage had plunged. In the aftermath of the tumultuous confrontation at our anniversary party, a heavy silence descended upon our once happy home. The fallout from our shattered marriage reverberated through the halls, leaving a trail of destruction in its wake. With each passing day, the reality of our betrayal weighed heavily upon us, casting a shadow over our shared memories and dreams. As Charlotte and I grappled with the wreckage of our shattered trust, the chasm between us widened, a gaping void that threatened to swallow us whole. Words became weapons, each bar cutting deeper than the last as we lashed out in pain and anger. Yet beneath the anger and resentment lingered a profound sense of loss, a mournful lament for the life we had once shared. Charlotte, how could you do this to us? I whispered one evening, the weight of betrayal heavy in my voice as I faced her across the barren expanse of our living room. After everything we'd been through, how could you betray me like this? Charlotte's eyes filled with tears, her voice choked with emotion as she struggled to find the words to ease my pain. Thomas, I never meant to hurt you, she confessed, her voice trembling with regret. I was lost, and I made a terrible mistake. But please, don't give up on us. I still love you more than anything in this world. But love, it seemed, was not enough to mend the shattered fragments of our broken marriage. I don't know if I can forgive you, 
Charlotte. I admitted my voice heavy with resignation as I turned away, unable to bear the sight of the woman who had torn my world apart. As the days turned into weeks, the fallout from our shattered marriage extended far beyond the confines of our home, leaving a trail of devastation in its wake. Friends became strangers, their whispered condolences a painful reminder of the life we had lost. Yet amid the wreckage of our shattered dreams, a flicker of hope burned bright, a silent promise of redemption waiting to be fulfilled. In the quiet solitude of my new life, I found myself embracing the promise of redemption, a beacon of hope shining bright amid the wreckage of my shattered dreams. Though the scars of betrayal still lingered, I refused to let them define me, determined to forge a path forward with courage and resilience. As the weeks turned into months, I embarked on a journey of self-discovery, unraveling the tangled threads of my past in search of the truth that had eluded me for so long. With each passing day, the weight of the past grew lighter, replaced by a newfound sense of purpose and determination. Thomas, you've come a long way, Harry, my youngest son, remarked one evening, his voice filled with pride as he watched me from across the room. I never thought I'd see you smile again after everything that happened, but here you are, stronger than ever. I offered him a grateful smile, touched by his words of encouragement. Thank you, Harry, I replied, my voice tinged with emotion. It hasn't been easy, but I've learned that strength isn't about how many times you fall, but how many times you get back up again. And with the love and support of my family, I know that I can overcome anything. As the days turned into weeks, I found myself embracing the promise of a new dawn, eager to leave the pain of the past behind me. Though the road ahead was fraught with uncertainty, I faced it with courage and conviction, knowing that redemption awaited those brave enough to seize it. Thomas, I just want you to know how proud I am of you, Charlotte whispered one evening, her voice filled with a mixture of admiration and regret. You've been through so much, and yet you've never lost sight of who you are. I only wish things could have been different between us. I offered her a small smile, the bitterness of our shared pain tempered by the warmth of her words. Thank you, Charlotte, I replied, my voice tinged with sadness. Perhaps this isn't the end, but merely the beginning of a new chapter in our lives. And who knows? Perhaps one day we'll find the redemption we've been searching for all along. As the echoes of our conversation faded into the night, I knew that the road ahead would be long and arduous, filled with twists and turns that I could never have imagined. But with each step forward, I found solace in the knowledge that I was not alone, that the promise of redemption awaited those brave enough to embrace it. And in that quiet moment of reflection, I knew that I was ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. Armed with the strength of a man reborn, 